And we're live, ladies. Good morning, Facebook. Good morning. Hope y'all are all doing well today. Yes. How's everybody doing today? It's a beautiful, cold day here. I literally was late this morning because my car was so frozen that I could not even open the door. There was frost everywhere. My kids were like, it's so pretty. This I'm like, this is all the snow we're going to get, y'all. Yeah. Enjoy the frost. Enjoy the frost because we're not, I don't know. I saw or last week, we have earlier this week, there's a chance of snow for Tuesday of next week, but it's probably really? gone. Really? It's probably going to go away. Where are y'all in like the Northeast? Oh my gosh, yes. You're like dug in. Well, not eat, yeah, like you're talking about like Northeast Arkansas? No, Northeast. There's, like, there's actually some snow happening oh. in like. Like uh, the Northeast United States. Gotcha, like, that's what I thought you meant. Yeah. Not Northeast Arkansas. Yes, so let us know what the weather's like where you are, since weather's a topic today. I was just kind of frustrated that my car was super, Ooh. super frozen. And so I sat there with the, and I normally, like, sometimes my husband will go out and start the car for me and, uh -huh. like, get it warming up and stuff. But this morning in particular, that didn't happen. He can't so, wake up at 3 and go get donuts no. again today. <laughs> no. So... Anyways, it was super cold, obviously, and I got out there, went to leave, and I left at my normal time, so of course, I didn't leave a cushion to let my yeah. car defrost for 15 minutes, so I messaged the boss and was like, gonna be late. I remember when I was in <laughs> high school, we would like scrape off, yes. like oh, just a little corner, yes. which is so dangerous. So dangerous. And like one of my cars, my defrost didn't work, so I'd have to like crack the windows, but like... I'm surprised we didn't die because well, we now, lived like off of curvy roads and <laughs> hot springs and it was really dangerous driving. Now they have this spray that you can spray on your windows. It's like defrost really? spray and you can just spray it on like, you know, like a cleaner bottle. Oh, that's Full cool. of defrost, defroster. Yeah. Defrost. Um, so I was thinking I probably need to get some of that for those mornings that I don't cushion myself. Yeah. Well, and you can do it in your... Um, yeah, oh yeah, your windshield wipers. Fluid. Yes. Well, that was froze. That would not that work was this morning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's how cold. It was like 28 degrees, which Jeez. I know that y'all in the north are like, oh, psh, that's nothing. please. But for Arkansas, it's cold. That is cold. It is okay, cold. you guys, we have we have a huge treat for in store for you guys. But first, we just launched a flash sale. Flash sale. Y'all are gonna love it. It is. So Margie yesterday had a tumbler out here. I did. And like frantically hit it because y'all were like, what tumbler is that? And it was one I'd gotten from my kids' that school. Was so this one is one of ours yeah but this is not one that's on sale yes so we have our modern curve line 10 percent off with Ooh. coupon code modern that's m-o-d-e-r-n and guys that lasts only till tonight so it's a 12-hour flash sale it launched at 10 30 it's gonna end at 10 30 tonight this size is cool it's so cute and classy mm -hmm. love it that would be good for hot chocolate i, mean, hint, I don't hint, drink coffee hint, hint. classy classy Yes, we did. We left them over They're here still for you guys ugly. to see. Or mine is. <laughs> no. Heck? Charlotte's turned out really cool because she patiently weeded it. Y'all saw my patience. So I left them over here for y'all to see. Uh -uh. And you can show them the candles. So super no, cute. don't do a small and intricate design. Unless um, you have time. Unless you like to do that. Yeah. So, but and, I mean, they're really pretty. So I'm so glad that somebody just asked about those candles because we have something to show y'all. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna move these over. Yes. Our shelves back there. It's just so awesome. It it's is. okay. It's okay. They're it super good. cute. So guys, yesterday, if y'all were on our live, we cut these intricate designs for these cute candles that we got from the dollar store. And we're continuing with our Dollar Tree craft series today. But first, we want to show you guys what cutting small intricate things does to your blade. Yeah. So just for fun, I pulled this out to look at it today. Because I was like, I bet you there's stuff stuck all over mm -hmm. this. And not only was there stuff stuck onto the blade, but we opened the carriage. And y'all are going to get to see this. If y'all are on TikTok, TikTok or Instagram and y'all want to see overhead and get an up close view at this uh hop over to Facebook real quick we're going to show you guys how to clean this bad boy yeah out. and so, it is a deuce if you didn't know that you could clean your blades that is an important part to machine mm -hmm. maintenance and it will if you're having issues with cutting mm -hmm. um it's a way to help your blade last longer and Absolutely. just to solve some of those problems yeah so if you get to a point where you feel like your blade's not cutting and you're just like why is it not cutting i see the blade it looks fine always open it and see because it could be restricting the rotary part of the blade yeah. it actually has to turn in there and if it is restricted by stuff it won't be turning properly and that could cause uh skips yes. 
Yes. Skips are no fun. Yes. So, um, and when we take this off, we could probably have Emery show yeah, it up close to them. So to unscrew it, you're just going to, it takes a minute to get it. We pre-unscrewed it because we couldn't remember how to do it. But you just, this is for the silhouette blade. We do not know on the Cricut blade. But you just unscrew it. Can you? So, like, you've got this little thing on so the top. it's just the tip that you're just going to grab. And, and it's screwed in tight. It should be tight. And, guys, that's another important piece. That's another important piece of your blade that over time, if it gets caught on something thick, it could actually unscrew and cause your blade to not be the actual depth that you set yeah. it to or that the auto blade sets to. So always check and make sure that this is tight and secure. Um, but you just remove it. You unscrew it and remove it. Um, to clean you guys look how nasty that is you don't see it. there is so many particles in there that is so awful so we're gonna give it a clean Emery do you want to show Instagram and TikTok real quick it's got so much crap it is in it. so it's dirty probably gonna cut better after this yes it probably will so guys and I just want to clarify that this is a premium blade so your auto blade is gonna be slightly different it's gonna look a little different uh -huh. um, than ours but the premium blade that's simply how you just unscrew the top and then get all the gunk and out. the ratchet blade um, will work the same is the same way to unscrew I'm not sure on the premium blade how to unscrew it mm -hmm. I don't know you if mean we want to get auto the auto blade yeah um, I, should I go get that one and see you can go grab it and see so we can show them so Yes, yeah, so guys, this is just some maintenance machine tips. If you guys are having trouble with your machines, this could be a very good reason as to why. So here we go. I'm going to work on cleaning this. Do we have any Q-tips? Mm, I got these tweezers. I know. I just kind of wanted to like Q-tip the thing we have Q-tips. How could you sell a two-inch by three-inch sticker if it's customized? A two inch by three inch sticker? That's hard. I'm not a sticker maker. Are you laminating them too? Because you've got to count that in the cost. I told Margie the other day, she she had a, somebody ask her for a full sheet of stickers. Oh my shit's creak ones. Um, which would be like an eight and a half by 11 uh, sheet of stickers. And I told her I would say 10 bucks a page. Isn't that what I told you? Yeah, yeah. she did. Um, I can't get this unscrewed on the auto blade. So, guys, these are our weeding tweezers. They work great for those little fine points. And when you're trying to pick up small things, it works really well. So, I got a huge clump of it out. And there's still some in there. Yeah, y'all. The auto blade, I don't know. Because um, it has a self-cleaning feature. Yeah, but I think if you put it in there and twist, I think that's what that's for. Says the auto blade unscrews yeah. the same way. Is that not working? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Thanks, Katie. I just can't get a good grip on it, I guess, because it keeps going down. This thing was so filthy. And then we're also going to clean it with rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol, that's what we you use, you know, to prep your metal stainless steel tumblers, your candles. So um, if there's residue, if there's residue on your blade, it's going to get it off. It yes. does. It's so, the black one. This is the black adapter that we use in the four. It snaps open, and you place the blade in there, and then it's got the magnetic backing to go in. And this is one of the three auto blades. Um, that's why it's not working for me, though, to get it unscrewed. Well, I'm oh, well. sure it works somehow or another. Yeah. Okay, so I wish I had a Q-tip, but I don't. This is a brand new thing. Well, I know. I went and got it from the... Katie said, so use a little indent in the tippy top to loosen it. Use a little indent. Okay, Katie. <laughs> Katie's determined to see me open it. <laughs> it just keeps... Gina said, I had to use the adjusting slash ratchet tool to unscrew my auto blade. Don't know yeah. what that thing is called. There is a little tool yeah. that comes with your machine that you are supposed to use to get it um, undone. And are you it. able to clean the cl Cricut blade the same way? That's a great question. Me and Margie aren't seasoned in Cricut things, but I'm assuming that there is probably some YouTube videos out there of how to mm -hmm. clean your blade on your Cricut machine. Yeah, so um, I would just look at it and see... Um, some people will take their blades and kind of sharpen it with foil, like take yep, a ball of aluminum it. foil and stab it, and that seems to help it as well. So Olivia asked, will you guys do a craft with a screen print tee and foil like Margie had on yesterday? We should probably try that sometime. Yeah, we could do that. I have some other screen prints at home that I yeah. could bring.
bring up. I'm trying to think of which ones I have. <laughs> That's a great idea. But yeah, no, that's a great idea. We can do that to show y'all. Um, just a fun way to use the foils. Mm-hmm. It really is. Okay, I've got it all clean. Yay. It's like new again. Woohoo. Right, Jeanette said the Cricut blade is magnetic and pulls right out. Okay. okay. So that must make it easier to clean. Jeanette, thank you. And then we just will show y'all how you snap the premium blade mm -hmm. into the black um, adapter you want to go overhead real quick it's just really important for your um for your adapters to work correctly that you're lining up the groove so you see that it has grooves there and there's also this lip on here so as long as you snap that um groove on the blade into the sorry the groove on the adapter it'll just snap together and that's it there you go all right so um, now that our blade is cleaned out of all the gook, we are going to do use our Star Mask stencil vinyl mm, to make are gonna love this. a really cute doormat. And we are going to give this doormat away. Three of them away. Three. So, um, in a later, when we're, when do we want to do it? Later? Yeah, at yeah. the end probably. Later we're going to play a little game and we'll do it on each of the different platforms. We'll do Facebook and then TikTok and then Instagram. Yes, so if you guys want to get all your friends in on this, make sure you're tagging them throughout this video so they're, they can come and watch us make this and then have a chance to win it. Yeah. So, it's going to say, uh, crafting, come back later. We're using our Star Mask stencil film, which just went back in stock today, like less than 15 minutes we ago. We sell out of it all the time, and I finally convinced, I finally told our ordering person, I'm like, order like 10 times what we normally order. Yeah. So she finally did. So hopefully we don't run out. Hopefully we don't run out. We carry it in three sizes, so you guys can get 12 by 12 sheets for those smaller projects, mm -hmm. 12 by 24, which is what we're using today, and we have it on our 12 by 24 inch cutting mat. And then you can also get it in five foot, which is awesome. awesome. Yes. And um, so once again, this is the Star Mask Stencil Film. So we're using this as a stencil today. And what that means, guys, is you're using it, you're using it as a, you're gonna reverse weed. Mm -hmm. And so instead of pulling the outside out from around your design, you're gonna pull the letters out and we're gonna use it as a stencil on this doormat. And then we bought some Flex Seal Liquid White to do on it. This also comes in a spray variety, but we did the can because we don't wanna die from spray paint fumes yes. back here. 21 inches? What do you think? I went down from 24 to 21. It's like zoomed in on TikTok. Oh yeah, that'll be yeah, perfect. That'll be good. Anyway, so we just found this at Walmart, the Flex Seal Liquid. Mm -hmm. Um and just reading some of or watching other tutorials of doormats, people like this because it lasts longer than like regular spray paint. Yes. So we're gonna give it a shot. We have not tried this before, so this will be a good with this this thing. So this will be a good thing for all of us, but these doormats are such a popular item. I always see them for sale, people making them. I mean, this was a Dollar Tree doormat, y'all, one dollar. Yeah. yeah, so we're continuing with our Dollar Tree crafting series. We found this doormat at the Dollar Tree for one dollar. The Star Mask stencil film, I believe, starts at what price? 50 cents? 55 no, cents? 65 cents? I think cent? it's more. Let's find out. What font will you be using and what machine is that? So this is the um, Cameo 4, and I do not remember the font when I made it. I made it really quick this morning in between answering phones and responding to emails. So I don't know the font. Restart, open OBS. Oh, okay, give me just one second. I'm just, oh, we want to show them where to find it. Mia said, can this be re reusable of the same saying? Stencil vinyl is not really reusable. If you were using it on wood or a solid surface like glass, I would say that probably so. You could probably get away with it. If but you can peel it off without stretching, stretching it, or it out. It. With this, we are going to actually be using the heat gun to get it to actually lay flat and seal the edges. So definitely not reusable once you apply heat to it to get yeah. it to stay well. 
So here we are on the website. We're going to screen share with our Facebook users. To find the stencil film, you're just going to go to adhesive vinyl and then go down to star mask stencil vinyl and you'll see all three sizes that we carry. So it's 12 by 12 is 75 cents. The sheet we're using is $1.40 and then the 325 for the five foot. Um, but and yes. why we prefer this to using adhesive vinyl for our stencil making is it um, is not permanent, yes. so it won't form a permanent bond and remove your paint. If you use like our permanent vinyl, like especially on a painted board, it can pull up the paint underneath. Um, it's kind of a slightly transparent, so yeah. it helps you see where you're going. And, it and if really, it bleeds. If it bleeds, it forms really well to the items you're putting it on. Yes. So, Jill asks, oh, sorry. Yeah. Jill asks, is your heat gun like an embossing gun? I never thought to use that. I mean, here's it's ours. It's just from Black & Decker. But it's you could use an embossing, embossing gun. gun. Yeah. yeah, I have those at home from back in my stamping days. And you can use a blow dryer too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With this, it gets so hot, we have to be really careful because it over melts. Yeah, easily. this is like a commercial heat gun. This thing gets yeah. super hot. Yeah. If you have a crafting heat gun, one that you got from Walmart, that one would be just fine. Mm -hmm. Endless Crochet Creation says, Hi, I used my Cameo 4 for the first time the other day and it cut straight through my map. It didn't cut where it's supposed to. Any tips? So that sounds like if it didn't cut where it's supposed to, you probably didn't have a cut mat selected. Mm -hmm. And then another important thing is just making sure that your um, that your material setting is correct. I know 100,000 million percent that all Cameos default to cardstock. So yes. if you do not select your product material, it's going to cut on cardstock settings, which is like a blade of 10 and a force of 33. It's super. Cut through your mat. It will cut all the way through unless you're cutting cardstock. Yeah. So. so you just need to really check your settings and pull your blade out. And if it's the auto blade, you can reset it by pushing it, mm -hmm. and it'll reset it and um, get it back to mm -hmm. a zero. Let's just make sure this is cut good. Um, pin pin. Um, endless crochet creation said yes. I had it selected. I had the cameo twelve by twelve mat, and I had leather suede. Oh. So she Kate. was cutting leather suede. I'm assuming. So. What what setting were you trying to cut it on? If you were cutting leather suede, I'm just curious what your blade and stuff was at. Cotton. And guys, something else is just test cut, always test cut. Margie and I preach about that all the time. But if you are cutting something for the first time on a brand new machine or a material that you've never cut before, always test cut just to be sure that you're not going to ruin expensive materials yeah. like your cut mat and ruin all of your products. Um, 1947 speed one. 19. Blade of 19. You can't even turn a blade on 19. 19. Cotton K said, hey, pretty ladies. I hey, love that yeah. shirt you're wearing. Thanks. Um, I don't know if you're talking to me or Charlotte, but this is my Harry the, Potter. The free hugs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a craft blade. <laughs> Okay, so okay. you had the craft blade. Okay, so that's a whole nother situation. Yeah. I don't think that Margie and I are extremely familiar with the craft blade, um, but I'm sure that there is tons of tutorials out there on it. I know My that... Good. Oh, I pulled the wrong one oh, out. Margie. Margie. Idiot. Oh, gosh. Just put them to the side. We can put them back in. So Maybe I'll just let Charlotte leave today. <laughs> Okay, guys, so what we mean by reverse weeding, and I'm uh, sorry, I, the craft blade addressing. Yeah. Go to YouTube, search the craft blade on Silhouette. I'm sure somebody has the exact setting for the material that you're using. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry that Margie and I aren't very seasoned in that uh, yeah. blade to know. Um, so, guys, what we mean by reverse weed is this exactly. So, traditionally, you would be pulling out the outside, not the letters. But we are pulling out the letters because we're going to be painting inside those letters. So, you don't want to pull out the inside of the letters, too. Like, like Margie did. Matthew's Creations for You say, um, I'm putting in an order for 15-year-olds of 5-foot vinyl. Awesome. Yay! Hey, be sure to use that it. coupon code, free ship 35 all orders over $35 are shipping for free when you use that code. Another important thing to remember is that we only have one coupon code per order. Mm -hmm. And we do have that coupon code MODERN for 10% off Modern Curves. 
um, and that is just a flash sale that we have going on so make sure that you are either placing two orders and yeah. asking customer service to combine those orders so you can take advantage of both free shipping and the 10% off the tumblers um, but yeah that's I mean that's a way to get around that I guess yeah. we you know Margie and I give y'all all the tips and tricks we do we do Do you have any recommendations for pens or markers used with a Cameo 4? They have some that you need to buy for the silhouette. Yeah, um, and you can also look for hacks to use different markers. I did it with my 1, but I have not attempted it with my um, 4. Like, I had a hack that I could use, like, Sharpies or yeah. any kind of pens that I had. But um, you'll just need to look. Y'all, look how cute this is! All right. So here's our cute sign, um, doormat, crafting, come back later. So cute. So um, we don't want to use the transfer tape. Um, we are just going to place the insides on, after, like there's not that many insides for this one. And I chose kind of chunkier font, just to, if you're doing a doormat, mm -hmm. you don't want to do a real fine font. Something that's not legible. Yeah. So you want it to be chunky. The paint will stick better. So This is going to look so cute. This is gonna be so so cute. what Margie's trying to say is normally when you're using an adhesive vinyl type, you would want to use adhesive transfer tape. We're not going to do that because it makes the transfer tape want to stick more to the product than the product sticking to this because this is fabric mm -hmm. it's just so, we tried it it's hard so yes. this is what we do instead yes so what we're going to do is we're going to just peel this back very carefully and something that you want to do is definitely have an extra pair of hands because this is very staticky and clingy it will mm -hmm. try to grab itself um so something that we like to do is we just like to start with a piece so we kind of like pull back a little bit and then we'll fold this back once I get it started. And I'm letting Shala do this because y'all know I will jack it up. So Margie, I just need you to fold this white piece back. Yeah. And then we're just going to continue to pull as we stick it down. Did you buy that mat from the Dollar Tree? Yes. yes. This is Dollar Tree series, you guys. Yeah, they had a. They have like three different floor mats, door mats, and this was kind of the one. Floor mats, door mats. Whatever they're called. This is the one we thought would be best for painting on. When you're cutting leather, don't you need to use a deep cut blade, Karen asked? Um, so we don't, neither Shyla or I have cut leather, so we're not okay, sure pull exactly. Up. Yeah, pull it up. There you go. And then I need you to pull the white back as I pull down. Just is it coming off? What kind of it mat is, is that? What this kind of is, what? This is just a floor mat from the Dollar Tree. Um, I can't show you right now, but it's just a fabric one. We can flip it over in a minute, but I mean, it's just fabric on one side. Let's turn this way so we can both see what okay. I'm doing. Yeah, I was going to say, I can't so see I what you're doing. So I need this to be, like, I'm going to try and hold it in place mm -hmm. if you'll bring it my way. There you go. And I'm going to put it right where I need it. Okay. And then I'm going to use some tape, masking mm -hmm. tape, to hold it in place. Okay, so I'm just using some masking tape to hold the stencil down in place real quick while we pull the rest of it. Okay, so now it's secured to the table. And I need to pull this piece off because it tried to come with it. And this goes down. It's kind of a puzzle. It is, but... Would y'all rather be overhead it? or in front for this angle right now? I think front, so people can see what we're doing. Cotton and Kay said, y'all, that cotton ball print HTV is to die for. Thank Aww. you for that. We're so glad you like it. There it goes. Now let me get it down. So as we have insides, I'm just going to tell you and then Perfect. just tell you to hold up. Hold tight for a minute, but you're good right now. Guys, and you're going to have some parts of your design that's not going to want to lift on its own when you do this. So you, that's why it's really important to have two hands. Let me just be turned sideways now so oh, I can kind of are. see. Oh, sorry. That's okay. I forgot you had it taped down. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Come back. Oh. I got to get the E. Oh, the E. <laughs> come on, little E. Okay. 
What vinyl are you using, Shiloh? This Margie? is the Star Mask Stencil Vinyl. You can find it under Adhesive Vinyl Star Mask Stencil. Sorry. We are going to take the overhead because the majority of Okay. They want to go to overhead? Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, y'all. Getting these uh, edges released. There we go. And this vinyl is pretty forgiving. That's yeah, you why guys. We like it. So once you um, hold tight to this real quick. So once you get it off, you guys are going to be able to replace it where you want. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of getting it off. And um, like Margie and I said, that we don't like to use the transfer tape with this because it's going to make it so much more sticky to the transfer tape rather than sticking to our item down yeah, here. it's a big And it just thing. creates a huge pain. I am released on this end if you are. Okay, okay. Raquel said, it makes me sweat for them. I get all sweaty when I'm struggling with the vinyl. I know, right? You don't have to sweat for us. We're good. Margie and I, man, we just roll with the punches. <laughs> After yesterday, this is easy. This is nothing. Oh, we got E again. Oh, E's the worst. Y'all, E is a nightmare. It's like Aaron Burr. The worst. Burr. It's going to be so cute. Okay. All it right. looks like a hot mess, we know. But yes, but don't have panic. Faith. Have faith. Have a little <laughs> faith in us. Let's see. Do you know when we will be restocking reflective HGV? We <laughs> it just went out of stock like yeah, a day ago. Yeah, we just barely. We do not know. It is one of those items from Caesar that is often out of stock, and I think because it's such a special formula for it that they're always tweaking it a little bit so we don't know we're hoping we have no idea honestly like we were out of it for like eight months and we got that so sorry and like the easy subly we're out of two and we're just waiting oh were we not even over there i don't know i thought i had it laid okay. out over here so guys once you get this place down where you want it it will stick pretty good for you mm -hmm. um but the issue is is that once you were to start putting uh paint on this it's not sealed directly to this item so it's going to bleed underneath and you don't want that so um we are going to continue to leave it taped down on the corners i'm going to give you some tape margie here in okay. just a minute and you can tape down that end And you just want to rub and kind of get it stuck down as good as you and can. And we have the inside pieces that we'll place. Yes. It's like really wonky. The reason they didn't use transfer tape, since it is a fabric material, it wouldn't have stuck. So I this would have been. I have to reiterate that a few times. Yeah, y'all, we've done the stencil mask with the transfer tape on a doormat, and it, and it took us twice as long. I know y'all feel like this is taking us a long time, but it was but way it's a longer. lot less time <laughs> than the previous. Yes. Where do you get your Where do you get your fonts at? Um, are we most. All the ones from here are from Defont.com. Yes, and we they're love all DeFont. free. So that's kind of our go-to place. Is Defont. I'm gonna use. Oh, it's so cute. Um, our tweezers. They are great for this because you can pick up the pieces without getting your finger oils on them, and making them any less sticky. Yes. Um, I have one over here. But so. I don't remember where it went. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I think it goes in between this little cup here. So we're just going to quickly place these inside pieces. Um, yeah, it goes here. And then we'll apply a little heat and do our paint. Y'all, what do y'all think so far? This is a really fun craft. We can't wait to give these away. So are y'all tagging your friends? Because we want your friends to get in on this, too. We're going to give one away on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Mm -hmm. We're going to play a little game once we get this done. It's going to be a lot of fun. So you guys be sure to tag your friends so they can get in on this. Dawn asked, would a rolling pin help straighten it out or make it worse? I would 
say that really you could try it just about anything. Yeah. But you guys, just smoothing it out with your hand really helps. Mm -hmm. um, and it's hard to for y'all to know the texture of this when you're not here. This is not like what regular vinyl feels no. like. It's very thin and very stretchy um, and it, transparent kind of. So it's kind of hard for y'all to know what it feels like. And I would just highly encourage you guys get a piece of this and try it out because yeah. like it's really awesome what's the name of the font you use for the word crafting i don't remember y'all can can stephanie up front can she, she might be able to pull up but i go i went through like 20 fonts and then i went through, i did crafting first because i, be I welded it crafting no i welded it oh so so it, she'd have to undo, undo yeah yeah so stephanie if you want to try to figure it out you can um so maybe we'll know, but maybe we won't. But I don't know because I saved it, so I don't know if you can undo, undo once you've saved. Okay. So. On I the did... font, is it only for personal use? So yeah, all yeah. of the fonts that you download from Defont, it's personal use only. So that's why whenever we offer SVGs with fonts that we've downloaded from Defont, they're always free. Okay, we got them all. Look at this! We're so excited. So here's some masking tape. You want to do your corners over. Mm -hmm. Well, never mind. It's stuck to the tape. Yeah, that's good. So what you do next, guys, once you have everything placed where you want it, is you're going to get that heat gun, and you're going to start heat gunning the areas um, with edges. And we will say that if you are using spray paint or a spray can, you will want to tape off your whole mat. Mat, yes. Because otherwise you will have overspray. So that is an important thing. Since we are using a can and paint brushes, we do not need to worry about overspray. Are we overhead, Emery? I just want to show them how this like melts into the material. So can you guys see the difference between this area that I've heat gunned and then this area? And she's just, you don't want to hold your heat gun or your blow dryer too close and you don't want to hold it in one spot for too long. So look how much this has bonded compared to the rest of and it. And that's just going to help you have your good, crisp lines that we all want when we're doing a stencil project. Yes. Charlotte's so good at it. I would melt it, y'all. <laughs> that's why she has the heat gun. So um, let's talk about Flex Seal for a minute, Margie. So, yeah. So Flex Seal is a liquid rubber sealer. And it says, excellent for roofs, gutters, blah, 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 <laughs> craft, projects, hobbies, and so much more. So, um, we have never used it before. <laughs> We're about to die. It in. says, stir can, do not shake. I've been over here shaking it. Dry oh. time depends <laughs> on temperature and humidity. Um, flex seal liquid reacts with the air to cure. Once the lid is removed and exposed to air, skin may form on the surface skin should be skimmed off and removed to prevent lumpy material. Maybe we should get, do you want to get us a um, popsicle stick, Emery, so I can stir it? Yeah. So, then, who's used um, Flex maybe, Seal before? Um, a flat head so I can open it. I'm sure some of y'all have used this for your crafting projects. Oh, I'm sure other people have used it. It's been around for a long time. Where are the popsicle They're sticks? in the, um, the glitter bucket. So it says allow 24 to 48 hours or more to dry. Okay. So, I don't know. We'll see if it dries and we can remove the. We might not pencil. be able to reveal, but we that's might okay. Not be able to this is just today. showing y'all the process. Mm -hmm. We'll for sure reveal tomorrow. Y'all have got to get some of this storm. Like, I'm amazed. When we first got this product, I was like blown away mm -hmm. at how simple it was to use and how awesome it applied, like it adheres yeah. to things. Ooh, that's Sorry. Nice. Sorry, I'm not trying to like burn you. Okay. What, Emery? Okay. So if you guys have used Flex Steel, let us know. If you guys have ever used our Star Mask, let us know. I love this product. Like, I truly do and I don't know if you guys can see just how briefly I'm waving the heat over this and then patting it down with my hands 
but this is not something that you'd want to hold the heat against for a long period of time. How did the sunflower candle come out from yesterday? Perfect. You want to see it? Well, I wouldn't go with perfect. Nothing's perfect when it's handmade, but it's really cool. It's cute. I'm afraid this is like a this delicate This is why it's so Do what, Emery? I'm saying this is why it's been so long. It's not intricate. Yes, y'all. I think that's good, Marty? I think that's good. Um, and then we will say, when you are using stencil, you want to dab and not brush. Yes. Never brush. You guys can uh, risk lifting up your center pieces and then getting into the areas that you don't want this. So you think maybe the smallest brush? Yes. So can you use a blow dryer? Yeah, yeah, you can yeah, use a blow dryer, guys. Blow dryer. It doesn't have to be super hot at all. This is just something that you want to just uh, get a little bit warm so it bonds to the thing that you're putting it on. Raquel said, can't wait for next week to actually craft Ooh. with you guys. Oh, y'all, this is I so know. sick. Did you hear Raquel? I heard Raquel. I'm so excited. Ooh, that stinks. We are so okay. excited about next week. Shyla, I'm going to. Okay. You're going to hand me one, and then you're going to do one, Can I do this? I think we need a lot yeah, more. There's another small one. You want Emory to get you the other small one? Oh, there's one? another small yeah. brush? Yeah. Give me another small one. Um, scoot what over? Can I just move the camera? Uh, that's fine. Okay, I moved the camera. I'm going to put it up there. So it's super thick, y'all. This, um... It says uh -oh. Quebec and so sorry about that. It's the Quebec. <laughs> we didn't know we were gone. All right, so we have people tagging their friends because yeah. this is going to be really fun. This game is going to be it's so nice. fun. If y'all would like to see different views, like overhead, I would hop on over to Facebook. So we are just dabbing up and down. Dabbing is important with um, stencils. Yes, so I don't know if y'all caught the last doormat that we did, but I actually took it home, and we used acrylic paint, y'all, and it did not hold up. Yeah. So we're hoping that this Flex Seal, Margie heard about this, and I was like, well, that makes sense. It's rubber, and, you know, like it's yeah. liquid rubber, so it's going to be way more durable um, and dry totally different than acrylic. Paint. And if you can do it outside, I'm sure the spray can of Flex Seal is awesome to use. And with that, you would just want to spray straight over, and you do, um, with spray paint, you know, you always do um, thin, like, multiple, multiple coats. Yes. Mia asked, if you wanted colors, what would you use otherwise? You could probably dye this. Yeah, y'all, so they have black and white in the Flex Seal. I did not see other colors, but you could maybe look into it and do other colors. But most people for doormats, they want just like the black or the, you know, they'll do the brown doormats, like the brown straw ones. With and the black do, With the black letters. But if you guys wanted to color this, I would say that you could definitely color it with maybe some alcohol inks or um, even acrylic paint. I would say you could probably mix it in. Yeah. What stencil are y'all using? What vinyl? Okay. Yes, yeah, so this is made by StarCraft. It's called Star Mask um, Stencil Film, made by StarCraft, and we sell it in three sizes. It is 12 by 12, 12 by 24, which is the size we use mm -hmm. for this size doormat, and it has been perfect. Yep. And then we sell it in five foot rolls as well. Which, guys, we just got this back in stock today. This product is flies off the shelf. Yes. It really does. It really does. People love to buy the 12 by 5 foot size. I mean, it's a great value. This is going to be so cute. It's really cute. You're parking so much faster, faster than me, but I'm, like, making it really white. You're doing it, and mine's not as white. I figure we're going to have to do multiple coats anyway. Yeah. What kind of material is the format you're using? It's, it's like, like a, a kind of burlapy fabric or something. Yeah, somebody I don't know. did want to see it, and we forgot oh, to show it. Oh, sorry. Them. Um, it, it just from the Dollar Tree, we got it for a dollar. It's like a rough indoor outdoor carpet, mm -hmm. I would say. And the backing has like a little. It's uh, not really rubbery on the backing. It's not rubber backed, so that was mm -hmm. what somebody had just yeah. asked. It's very rough feeling, like mm -hmm. definitely made for outdoor. Yeah. Uh, 
Nerf Diddy said, you can paint over the white flex seal with acrylic paint and it lasts. Yeah, oh, look Sweet. how smart. So you would probably want to leave your stencil on if that were the case yes. and let it dry and then do it over with acrylic paint. Mia asked, is stenciling the only thing Star Mask works for? Um, I would say that's what it's made that's for. That's what it's made for. Um, but I don't know, like, I, just give me an example, I guess. Are you trying to use else? it on something else? Yeah. It was. It's not a permanent adhesive vinyl, so, and it is slightly see-through, and it only comes in this one minty color. Mm -hmm. So if you could figure out a project to do with a minty, see-through, non-permanent adhesive, then yeah, sure, go for it. <laughs> Tim asked, would that star, star mask work for doing screen printing? So that's maybe that's what people are trying maybe to so. figure out. I honestly have no idea. We don't know. <laughs> like we have not. We're vinyl into girls. Screen printing, so. We don't know, but you could, it's so cheap, you could buy a sheet and give it a shot. Yeah, for sure. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. Any other questions? Right now, there is a debate going on in the TikTok chat about DeFont about the commercial use if you don't sell it you don't have to pay for it right yeah that's true yeah so, so personal use means that you're using it for personal use or offering it for free because you got it for free commercial use gives you the rights to resell and use it to sell your products so hopefully that helps y'all Gina said, Flux Seal has a spray clear sealant. I've heard of people using it over acrylic paint on doormats. Okay, yes. thanks, Gina. That's good to know. This stuff reminds me of Silly Putty. For some it's reason. very thick, I know. I always see the commercials for it, you know, like, my hand's cramping up from holding the paintbrush. Mia said, like, is it just for doormats? I can't think of what else to put it on besides oh doormats. Oh my gosh, people use stencils on wood and glass yeah. and... Right. I don't know if you're talking about the Flex Seal. People use it to seal, like, leaks in their houses and stuff. So. I've used the star mask on a pumpkin and carved it out. Yeah. <laughs> we do. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I have pictures on my phone of Emery covered in pumpkin guts it's because so she, funny. we used a Dremel tool to do a super intricate um, design on a pumpkin back at Halloween time. Y'all, it's so funny. And we were supposed to carve the other pumpkin and got too busy. I, we I flaked out to. after seeing how messy Emery got. I was like, oh, I ain't doing that. You're like, but no. But way. we used we used this stencil film and created a stencil, put it on the pumpkin, and then we carved it mm -hmm. out. So It was very difficult. I don't recommend it. <laughs> Do not recommend. So Shyla and I are here in Emory to like tell y'all what you do or do not recommend. So <laughs> the Margie Shyla mystery box sold out, y'all. We were shocked that it sold out yesterday. Um, it won't be back until March. I know, but there's a really fun TikTok about um, we included a free SVG in it. So if you didn't get it and you want to see what you missed out on. <laughs> Check out our TikTok. Is that a horrible thing to say? Yes, it is, Margie. <laughs> Y'all have to excuse Margie. There's no filter. Oh, my god, That's so funny. Can you reuse that stencil, or is it done after one use? It is done for. Yeah. I would say that you guys can get away with reusing them on certain glass or wood uh, projects. Mm -hmm. But um, not after not this. Not after this. Amanda said, is Margie still finding pieces of adhesive from when she weeded yesterday? Yes, y'all. I went up there, and the girls up front were helping me pick it. I had it, like, in my hair. It was, like, all over my sleeves and my jeans. I found some when I got home last night. There was one that got, like, tucked in my bra. I don't know how that happened. Y'all, like, it's so funny. It was everywhere. And then I, like, we were glittering some stuff, and so then I got glitter all over. So yesterday oh I was just a gosh. mess. Like, stencil, I mean, glitter vinyl like it was crazy so in other words that day if somebody if you were to say <laughs> guess where i work somebody would have been like a craft store a craft store you have it everywhere Margie. you have vinyl and glitter and everything stuck to you <laughs> so it was funny will that dry clear or white white this dries white this is a white flex seal and so it dries white it 
doesn't smell great, guys, though. Like, if you are sensitive to smells, I just want to say this. That in, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because there's a lot of people who can't use epoxy for the mm -hmm. smell reason. And if you're sensitive to smells, this stuff smells. And I am kind of stuffy today. My allergies have been, ooh, so I don't really smell it. Okay. Well, I smell it, and it's not great. <laughs> so I'm just saying, I'm okay with a stuffy nose today. And I'm just curious, like, this is something weird and personal, but, like, anybody who works with epoxy, do you guys wear contacts? And, like, no matter what, like, your contacts get so irritated from the epoxy Ooh, fumes. I bet they would. So, like, I have recently um, just started taking my contacts out and wearing my glasses when I'm in my craft room working because I can't stand the way it makes my contacts feel. It's, like... It kind of is scary because, you know, people talk about the toxicity yeah, of, of epoxy yeah. and how dangerous the fumes are. And you don't think about it because you don't really feel like what your insides feel. Yeah. But when I felt like what it was doing to my contact lenses, I was like, oh, my gosh. That's freaky, Charlotte. Yes, it's so weird. So, anyways, I was just curious if anybody else had that problem when they wore contacts and worked with epoxy. Jackie asks, is this vinyl compared to the Oracle stencil vinyl that you used to carry? Yes. Yes, it is. I feel like it's better than the Oracle. The Oracle had like three different types, and this type works for everything. Yes, it was very confusing. It I remember was. we used to get questions about, well, which one do I use for this, and which one do I use and for this? And we had like a little chart that we would pull out because we would could never remember which to use for what. Yeah, so it's nice knowing that this one works for everything. Yeah. So the reason why I brought that up is because the fumes of this is messing with my contact. Oh, no. Mia said, off topic, but do you guys hang out after work? <laughs> I love that they're trying to get to know I us. Know. Sometimes, not a whole lot. Chyla and I both have kids, so usually as soon as we're done with work, we're home with our kids fully involved. I've got four. Shyla's got two. So, like, neither one of us, I feel like I don't have, like, an exciting social life. I like, don't either. <laughs> Y'all, we when go to I'm lunch not, together we and do, stuff, so. We do go to lunch together sometimes, and Margie's watched my kids for me before. Mm -hmm. um, but we, um, we don't, I guess we don't hang outside outside of work, I guess. You, uh, but hang but out we outside spend eight work. hours together every day, <laughs> so we probably are like, Charlotte's probably like, I need a break from Margie. And <laughs> no, that's how Margie feels about me. <laughs> she's, she's like, she's, I can't hear Margie say idiot one more time. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. So, but no, anyway. I mean, like, I feel like if we were to have met outside of this situation, we would be really good friends. Uh, yeah, like, it's not just sure. a work relationship. I'm sure that's what Mia oh, was yeah. getting at. Yeah. yeah. We, you just have some people that you click with, and yeah. Charlotte and I just really click. Yes, we, we do. We get each other's <laughs> weird personality quirks. My, oh. Mine more weird than Charlotte. I'm not saying she's weird. I'm saying I'm weird. I think everybody <laughs> has their just weirdness about them and I uh -huh. think that me and Margie are equally weird. Yes, <laughs> we have our different weird things. So. Oh, that's so funny. Look, it's a piece of your vinyl. Oh my gosh. Stuck to the doormat, you guys. From yesterday. <laughs> it's everywhere. Oh, that's so funny. I we love that. We could just keep dabbing and going, but what do you think? I think that we should play our game. Okay, are y'all ready for the game? Are I think ready? everybody is ready to play this giveaway game. Now, do you really want to win this doormat? That's the question. I think it's going to be we're stinking gonna, cute. We've got to make two more now. We have to make two more, and we're going to have to put a few more coats on this, but I mm -hmm. think it's going to be worth it. We keep, like, randomly I know. dripping. Oh, my gosh. We should have taped the top. Um, but anyways, guys. No one will know. We <laughs> How will they know? How will they know? No one's going to no know. No one's going to know. So, anyways, I think that this is going to turn now out really cute. I can cute. smell it all of a sudden. See? Mm -hmm. It smells it is so bad. Stinky. Okay, so here's how the game is going to work. If your listening ears are on. It's like Duck Duck Goose. It's like Duck Duck Goose, only comment style. And we're going to do Instagram and TikTok and Facebook all separate. So, I'm going to say, like, Facebook, start commenting the word star. Star. And y'all are just going to comment star, star. And you guys can comment as many times as you want. But mm -hmm. just keep this in mind across all platforms. Comments come in different on our end than how you see them. Yeah. So, Emery is going to comment mask randomly after she sees several comments flooding through and whoever's comment is above hers once they all go through yes. is who is going to win yeah it's so, be so then fun. we will message you yeah. and say you're the winner and you'll need to give us your address and this can only be mailed inside the united states 
Yes. Yeah, so Guys, we, we're not starting yet. Oh, they're already starting. Okay, so I thought we were starting on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, that's Facebook. what she means. They're oh, yeah. already going. So only Facebook, you're commenting star, and then um, yeah. you've got to be a U.S. have a U.S. address for us to ship it to you. Yeah, so y'all are good. Y'all keep commenting. Keep commenting star, um, but TikTok and Instagram, just wait, wait because we're going to do, we can't do all three at once. Yes, yeah, so we're so. going to tell you guys when it's your turn, so yeah. just stay with us. Just give us a minute to get the Facebook people taken care of. Yes. Are they coming in, Emery, the comments? We're Okay, so y'all just... No one wants to win the doormat. Comment the word... That's not true. Comment the word star. Margie and I will sign the back. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll include a picture of us. Oh my gosh, when that's too creepy. Die. We'll do a glamour shot. Oh my gosh. Just whenever you feel like you want to. When you feel like you're ready. Give it like a minute. Now give it a little bit. To just give Because comments time. are delayed. So y'all are commenting the word star. And then Emery will comment mask. Yes. Drink more. And then um, <laughs> the winner. And I've seen this, like, I haven't seen it in lives, but in different groups, like, when they're doing a giveaway. Like, if you're in a jewelry party or something, you know. Yes, I've seen those. Jewelry some, one of my friends will do it. Like, Allison Jones, I don't know if you're watching. You'll, she'll do it, like, all the day. Time, all day long. And it's like, oh, my gosh. They have to comment the word, like, uh, a red. A million and times. Then, yeah. And then, all day. Oh, gosh, yes. I've played those before. Mm -hmm. Emery, you tell us once you've commented, and you then we'll decide, tell we'll Emery. tell Instagram and TikTok when to go. You have the power, Emery. Yes, she's got power. <laughs> I'm sure she's loving that. Mm -hmm. All right, we're really excited for the Five Crafts of Valentine's Day. Y'all, it starts next week. I can't believe that next week starts the week right before Valentine's I know. weekend. Margie and I are so excited to craft along with you guys for five days in a row with our awesome Five Crafts of Valentine's. I know. It's going to be fun. Yes. And, you know, we've got something special in store. Even if you did not get the kit, if you missed out on it, you'll still want to join us. Tune in. Tune in. You what? <laughs> we've got some fun things. Emery is loving this. If you're local, we've got some fun things going in, in our lo on in our lobby. We're redoing oh our displays gosh. and stuff, so we'll have to take pictures and share. Um, we'll share them on our Facebook page so that you guys can see. I'll have to take a before picture before yes. we start painting. and we're going to post it in our group. And we'll post it in our group. But if y'all are not, so Instagram and TikTok users, if you're not a part of the Minecraft Source Facebook group, join that group. It's a yes. lot of fun. People share, like, what they've been making. And um, we oh, just, okay, Emery just commented. So uh, comments are closed on Facebook. No so more star. What? It was Mia. Mia! Mia! Congratulations, Mia. So, Mia, if you'll send us a message and say I'm the doormat winner. I'm a doormat. Don't say I'm a doormat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Say I'm the doormat winner um, and comment with your address um, and we'll get this. It probably will take us um, because we want to let it dry so it probably won't be shipped out for a couple days. And, and, and if you want to take advantage of the sales today, free mm -hmm. shipping over $35 with code free ship 35 yes. and 10% off modern curved tumblers with code modern, then place an order and we'll stuff your doormat in your order. Oh yeah. Um, okay, are we ready to do, what do you want to do next, Emery, TikTok or, um, Insta? We can go ahead and do TikTok. Let's do TikTok. Okay, TikTok, start commenting star. Yes, TikTok, go TikTok. How many people we got on TikTok right now? Um, 33. 33. 33. Okay, y'all have a good chance of winning then. So y'all can comment back to back. Y'all don't have to just do one comment. Y'all can comment multiple times. Mm-hmm. It creases your off. Do you do you guys make decals for Starbucks cups? So, um, like the cold cups. I don't. Margie doesn't. I don't. Um, I have lots of friends who do. Um, I could if I wanted to, but that's not something I want to do. So, anyways, I guess the answer is no. On the decals. There's so many different people commenting on TikTok. Oh, oh how fun! fun. So I love fun. that. That's awesome. Go TikTokers, go. Oh, yeah. Wondering when I should comment. Oh, Emery loves this power she's got. 
<laughs> She's like, ooh la la. What do y'all think about this? This is a fun little time. Uh, this is like very cathartic and like I like just dab dab dab. I like dab, sitting dab, here dab, and dab. just like blah 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 while y'all are fighting I over know. the word star. <laughs> Blah, blah, blah. Star, star, star. For once we turned the pressure on the viewers. It's on y'all, not us. Oh, my gosh. I love this. We're going to have to come up with more tactics like yes, this. Yes, we will. We're going to have to figure out more ways to turn the pressure on y'all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. TikTok, get your comments in. Hurry up. Click. Click send. Click send. Send, send. Okay. And then, um... TikTok once Emery comments, um Crafting Taz. Crafting Taz. Okay, you might screenshot it, Emery, so that um we remember and then crafting Taz if you can send us a direct message, a DM. I don't know why I said direct message. Because <laughs> I'm so old. That was so <laughs> proper. Oh my gosh. Uh, send us a DM. Send us a direct message. <laughs> send us a DM on TikTok with your information, crafting Taz. All right. How many people are on Instagram? Sometimes we don't have very many people on. But if they were tagging their friends, maybe there's more people on. Yeah. <laughs> go, go hop on Instagram uh, and maybe. Gina came over to Instagram. Go, yeah. Gina. <laughs> oh, I see how y'all are playing the game. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I'm this competitive know. over here. Ooh, I like this. I this like is funny. It. So start craft crafting, commenting star on Instagram. Oh. Okay, Instagram, it's your turn. I gotta go over to Instagram like I'm on. Do you have it on your phone? Yeah. Well, you can do it. You can comment on my phone, can't you? Or can you not? Oh, I guess I can. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Too late. Uh. Too late. Oh, this is looking so cool. Come on, guys. Start commenting. Star. Comment star. Oh, my gosh. Mia's back over here. Uh, another one. Mia. <laughs> Mia, have, what are you going to do, do with two? Do two doormats? <laughs> or two doors? <laughs> doormats. So what is being made right now? Yeah. Okay, so we're giving away this cute little doormat. It says crafting, come back later for you guys to stick at your front doors. Um, and we've given one away on Facebook. We've given one away TikTok. And now we're giving it away on Instagram. Instagram. So you just, just need to comment star yes. on Instagram. And then Emery's going to comment mask um, whenever because she that's feels the like it. For you, star mask. I'm going to let a little bit more people join in. We have 30 right now. Okay, okay. that's good for Insta. Go to our Insta TikTok at My Craft Stores if y'all want to win the format. Yes, the floor mat. The floor mat. Door the doormat. We're calling it all kinds of different things. We don't know what it is anymore. We don't remember. We've sat here and dabbed on it too much. Mm -hmm. The fumes have affected our brain. My brain is like mush. <laughs> I do feel very hungry. It's making Shala get the munchies. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's. It's almost noon. It's close to lunch I time. I think I want to go to lunch at noon today. Em, are you down? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm down. Yeah. We normally go at one, but I'm just not feeling that today. I'm very hungry. Am I about to comment? Some days you're just hungrier than others earlier. It's because we're it like oh Ronnie didn't get us donuts. I know. I didn't eat any breakfast. I know. I had hot tacos for breakfast. I had a boo boo chicken sandwich from Walmart. That's not bad. It Those was, are good. Boo boo. She's just saying that. It's just a it's term. Because it was oh. like cold. Teenagers say boo boo. Oh. Or boo boo. Teenagers. You are still a We're teenager. We're not that far apart, child. Oh, oh my goodness, that's funny. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What do you I'm think? A... I think it looks good. I think it's good. Should we cover? Yeah, let's cover it. Okay. C K G A E D E U N. Oh my goodness! Congratulations, C A K G U, whatever it was. C K uh, C K G A E D E. <laughs> That's so awesome. Okay. Congratulations. So if you want to claim your doormat prize, you're going to need to send us a DM with your um, address to ship it to. Again, it is only in the United States that we can ship it. What are you thinking? Oh, well, what happens thinking. if one of the people that won are like in... Then we'll just... Are um, in what? We'll just look at the next, I guess. Uh, yeah, we'll look at the next step. If the Mia won on Facebook. Yeah, one on Facebook. Um, who won on Insta? Uh, Insta was C K G A E D E, <laughs> and okay. then on.
on TikTok, I took a screenshot. You took a screenshot. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, comment. Um, again, the star mask is amazing. Give it a shot. Free ship 35. Coupon ends tonight. Yes. 10% off Modern Curve tumblers ends tonight. Yep. They come in 30, 20, and 12. These are so, so nice. So, um, you guys can take advantage of that. Now, I do want to point out, you guys need to make sure you're shopping under that Modern Curve category for the coupon code to work. It's so, only on these three tumblers that it will work. It's not yes. all tumblers. So when you go to blanks and then you go to tumblers and then you go to stainless tumblers, you also have to click on the modern curve category. You can't select the tumblers from the stainless tumbler category. Yep. For it to work. All right. Anything else, Anne Anything Marie? else? Uh, we, we said that. We said oh. all right, didn't, we didn't know if there's any last questions. Gina said, scribble over the drips with a Sharpie. Yes, we yes, probably will. We will do that, Gina. You're so smart. Yes, thank, thank you. you, Gina. <laughs> uh, so, yes, we are super excited about today. Yeah. We had a lot of fun doing this. I hope we inspired you guys yeah. to do another Dollar Tree craft. Mm -hmm. um, grab some Star Mask, like Margie said, and I guess we'll see you all tomorrow. Yep.